Hi people, the following is a short video on how to install a ZWO EAF bracket. The bracket is made for the Celestron Schmidt cast grain line of telescopes. In this video, I'll show how to install it on a Mead Schmidt cast grain. The telescope used is a Mead 10 inch LX200 ACF Schmidt cast grain. I hope this information helps. So, this is the Mead 10 inch uh, Schmidt cast grain with various uh, assembly accessories on it, uh, which are all ZWO. This is the regular focus knob on the back of the mead. So we will take off that knob. Dooby dooby dooby. All you have to do is remove these scrub screws on the knob. Well, just back them off, back them out some. And this knob will basically unscrew from the uh, brass shaft or screw of the telescope's focus. Got that off. And there's the shaft. I've measured this shaft. Uh, diameter is somewhere around 12.7 millimeters so that's important and we'll get to that in a minute so then now that we have the focusing knob the external knob off we're going to remove these three button head screws that holds in a circular plate that surrounds the brass screw that's connected to a shaft that moves the mirror inside the telescope tube thus getting the desired focus so that comes off this will stay it's a little plate uh, there are several plastic washers on there on both the front and the back. I believe they're for spacing. Don't lose them. Leave it on there. This is the uh, electronic automatic focus module from ZWO, which is basically a stepping rotor with some control electronics that's driven by software of your choice and this needs a bracket to hold it on. I ordered the ZWO focusing bracket and this is for a Celestron scope but it can be fairly easily mounted on a Mead system. And then of course this is all aluminum so it's not going to wear out anytime soon. So, a few screws come with this. Come on. Try to lose them all. Um, but the important point is they don't quite fit a me. They'll they'll grab somewhat, but they're a little bit small. Basically, you have to have uh, screws that are a little bit longer then the little button heads and that are the right size for the holes three holes that surround the focuser shaft so what we're going to do here is mount this piece onto that assembly 
and we have to get the screws through the the large holes in the piece the bracket and then through the little bracket and into the hole you see there okay I can't resist trying to do this with oh, look at that one free hand but the other holding the camera oops okay I didn't say it was a smart thing to do I just said I couldn't resist doing it so but we're going to do all three screws up like so so we're going to have a bracket here so here's what the bracket looks like installed onto the focuser we see the three screws are screwed in tight and uh, the bracket is ready for the uh, to accept the motor and the coil. This uh, this will I'll show you beforehand. Mount to the back of this with the motor shaft uh, being in the smaller hole of the coupler, the other end of the coupler. One thing I forgot to mention is when you do go to install this it's a good idea to install it so the the flat on the shaft is facing to wherever in whatever direction that you can reach a grub screw on the coil with okay we have uh, everything tightened up somewhat for demonstration purposes and the coupler is somewhat aligned with both shafts here um, and that brings us to a problem that I wanted to show people before they get too far into this um, this can be made to fit on both shafts but as you can see the coil is rather short to get it firmly on both of these shafts because those grub screws have to go over it and pretty much if you got the grub screws on one side then it's barely catching on the other side so the solution I see for that which I'm going to try I have not as of yet is to remove this plate and cut the last part off of here. The reason I'm doing that is because there is no room for this thing to move back on this particular model of scope. So it's aluminum. I don't think we're talking too big of a deal. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm back and this thing is minus one slot here's that little oops don't tell nobody but it's fine it should work and I'm going to place that on there okay much much better than new you could almost take two off I'm sure if you wanted to But with this cut down some, we get plenty of room on either side. So that'll definitely work. Grub screws can properly grip the shafts and we'll be on our way. All connected nice and tight okay so we can get the uh, the grubs the other grub screws and tighten these guys down
This one I had to pull a, a grub screw up, which is a little bit shorter from my uh, original ZWO packet that comes with uh, the uh, EAF box comes with its own bracket and some couplers and one of the grub screws on this was a little bit off size so it's on it works and I hope it works forever and ever and so it can be done fairly easily to order and install this particular bracket that's made for Celestron C8 or C9.25 and you can install it onto a mead Schmidt cast grain just let that roll. Nice. Hope this helps, guys. Take care.